Good uh, afternoon, everybody. Welcome to, uh, as Marina already pointed out, the first Axon server trading, which we as Exonic are going to provide uh, to each and every one of you. I'm very happy to see that we have a very full class so that uh, I'm assuming everybody's very interested in what we are going to tell for the upcoming two days. I think uh, having said all that, it's time to start just with sharing my screen. So as pointed out, this is module one. And in module one, we'll be aiming to providing you a lot of the specifics about what a messaging platform and event store really are. So essentially giving you the groundwork why we started building something like Axon Server to provide this to the community. Prior to diving into the material, we're first going to have a little bit of a look at how all this is going to work. So some, uh, some uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I want to have an introduction of everybody as well. So I'm uh, going to take some time maybe, but it's always good to know who you have in front of yourself. So how this works, as pointed out, online sessions, it will be recorded as you've just heard, meaning that if you are uh, obstructed by any means where you cannot join uh, in an earlier fashion or if you need to leave earlier, there is a recording, you can always watch it back. We also have a Slack channel that you can ask any type of questions you might have at a later stage. The Slack channel should have been an invite you have received yesterday from, uh, from me. Uh, I'm assuming that's part of the invitation, at least, that you see that in there. Um, I'll be in there. Some of the panelists or other people who have been working on this training material will be also in that Slack channel. And it will be available for the upcoming two weeks so that you can play around a little bit with Axon Server Enterprise and ask your questions as you go. Um, the online sessions will be a recap, typically of the day before. Well. Today, it's not going to be a recap. It's going to be an introduction of everybody. Uh, we'll discuss the topic and we'll try to reach it in five minutes. And there will be a section of Q&A. I have a short bit on the agenda. So day one is really going to be messaging platform, event store, and a little bit about connecting an application. So the first two pillars are the main things which Axon Server provides us. So it's going to be a lot of theory and thinking about why uh, you would need something like this and how you would be able to do something like this and eventually showing how you would do this with Axon Server or how it's doing that. And then making the connection with your client application to Axon Server. So the thing, for example, uh, built on Axon Framework. Day two is gonna cover things like clustering with, with in pretty great detail actually. And there's also gonna be a topic about security and observability in day two. All right, so as you might've noticed, the first thing to cover is the messaging platform, really uh, with the nice tagline, dump pipes and smart endpoints. That's what we aim for. So that's what we're gonna explain as well. And our first gonna cover here a pretty small, concise diagram. This is for those who have attended earlier trainings of us or have been looking at our online material, you might notice this diagram as being a very simplified means of showing CRS, domain-driven design and event sourcing in one picture. So, so the clustering, let's see now several reasons why clustering is important, why we need more than one Axon server uh, in our deployment, right? So the clustering actually is improving the reliability due to these reasons. The first one is availability, right? If you have only one Axon server, in our deployment, if that server is down, basically our whole system uh, would become unavailable. Uh, that's why we want to have several Axon server instances working together. If some of those go down, we can still serve requests, messages can go through Axon server and events or snapshots can be stored within Axon server. Next to that, uh, scalability. One Axon server uh, can serve a lot of requests, but if we uh, start increasing the number of connected, uh, connected applications, if the number of requests on those applications just uh, starts rising, our one Axon server might not be sufficient to serve all those requests. Having several Axon servers uh, deployed in our system uh, may help uh, a lot, right? So we want to have several instances to improve on our scalability. Next reason uh, is durability. Of course, when we store data to a single Axon server instance, it is durably stored, durably persisted. 
Uh, however, if for some reason that node becomes unavailable, maybe there is a network glitch, maybe there is a network partition, or just for some reason that uh, machine is down, we want to have other nodes in a cluster uh, that uh, contain the same information, basically. So we want to have uh, data replicated across the cluster of Exxon server nodes. And whenever we access the cluster, everything that cluster confirmed to us that it has been persisted is still there. 